Hello, Tom Cosm here. Uh, this video today, I was browsing the Ableton subreddit over here on reddit.com. Ableton, uh, this guy, Hard Drive Ghost, asked this question. I'm trying to make a simple beat repeat effect for my DJ sets. I want different keys on my master MIDI keyboard to capture audio based on different grids, etc. So what he wants is he's got a MIDI keyboard and he wants to be able to hit the keys and it will trigger different uh, beat repeats at set at uh, different kind of looping values, I guess. Um, so I've got a solution to this, I'm going to talk you through it very quickly. So I've just got an audio track here with a Armin break. We all know what that sounds like. Uh, so I'm just going to load in a beat repeat here. Uh, let's just uh, get a setting. So I'm going to turn it into the insert value, so it just kind of overrides. Um, insert means it will uh, play the repeat and not mix it with the original, so it just kind of plays the completely wet repeat. So let's listen to it now. So that's going at 16th notes. So I could change this shorter if I want to do quarter notes, etc. So I'm going to group this into a rack, like so. Open up the chain. So there's our first chain. And what we'll do is I'll set this uh, beat repeat on, an, on a half, and we'll name this chain one half like so so that's our first beat repeat i'm going to create eight of these so i'm going to duplicate it or command d we'll change that one to a quarter so let's bring this down to a quarter duplicate it again make this one an eighth so bring it up to an eighth just bear with me here uh, let's go for a twelfth just to be a bit different one more make this one a sixteenth one sixteenth. So I'm creating eight here. You can put as many as you want. Uh, we'll do a twenty-fourth. Oops, I didn't duplicate it. One twenty-fourth. And we'll do one thirty-two. How many is that? I lost track. Half, oh, half quarter, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, one more. Wait, one. Hey, sixty-fourth. Really, really fast. That's all good. Okay, but now what's going to happen is, of course, the audio, audio signal is going to hit the effect rack and it's going to split it eight ways. So it's going to be chaos. It's going to sound like shit. I won't listen anyway. <laughs> um, that's not what we want. So what we want to do is we want to be able to only pick one of these beat repeats and the audio to just go one. And that's why we have this kind of cool chain selector area over here. So what this means is this colored uh, little kind of, I don't know what you call it, bar, this kind of determines... Um, which one is going to play depending on where this yellow sliding line is. So for example here, uh, all these are set on the very first increment which is actually zero. So if I play this, it's playing all of those ones. But if I move it up to here where there's nothing, we get silence. And if I move it over to this one, it's just going to play the quarter one. So what we need to do is we need to um, select all of these here, control A. I'm going to drag them all out like this, and then we can do this cool trick where we right click and go distribute ranges equally. So that's, that gives us a nice equal uh, equal um, equal increments across the grid of 128. We've got 128 increments, remembering 0 is counted as 1, so the maximum is 127. Now, this is quite an uh, underlooked feature, overlooked feature in Ableton. Um, if I go into MIDI mode and I click on this, um, this, this chain selector here, of course I can assign a knob to it like so, and if I go out of MIDI mode, see we can sweep it with a knob. But I don't want to do that, I want to delete that, and I'm actually going to hit a key on a MIDI keyboard, in this case, C3. Now you see that it's picked up here, okay, C3 now activates this uh, chain selector, but if we hold down a note and then press another one, while we're holding the other one, it will actually specify a range, so boom, boom. So now you see we've got here, it's C3 um, to G3. So, and I've picked eight notes because I've got eight individual chains here. So that means that by pushing any note in between C3 and G3, it's going to jump to a certain point um, on this chain selector and it will be divide, uh, divided up into eight chunks. So in theory now, when I push C3, it goes to that one. And if I push uh, C sharp, it'll go to that one. Then we go D sharp, E, F, F sharp. G, I missed that one there, but you get the idea. So now my MIDI keyboard will jump to any one of these. And of course I can go into my MIDI mode and map the button, uh, the power button of the audio effect rack to something else. I'm just going to use a CC value here, but you can map this to another key if you like. Um, so if I go into MIDI mode now, turn it off and on with that button. So you can't see my MIDI controller, but there we go. 
and let's just have a go. So I'm going to play it and just push some keys between C3 and G3. And of course, of course what you can do now is you can go into any one of these, so for example this one at a 12th note, let's open it up and let's uh, give it a pitch decay, that'd be fun. And you can do, you can change these however you want, you could put, you know, you could put, you know, let's put a delay on the quarter one, I'm just going a bit crazy now. So I'll put a ping pong delay after the quarter one. So you can rack these up in any way you want, um, create your own interesting little, uh, little sounds for each audio effect track, so... So there you have it. That's um that's how I would do it. There might be a better way, but that's um that's how I would do it. And uh, yeah, that'll do. TomCosen.com. I'm going to be checking out this um this this subreddit a bit more. So if you go to reddit.com forward slash r forward slash Ableton, there's a quite a quite a nice little community of people there asking questions, sharing music. Um, it's quite friendly, and the whole upvoting system is really nice. It means that um interesting stuff goes to the top. So it's not really like a a forum where um people who are trolling and stuff tend to make the top posts. Cool, thanks, tomcousin.com.